Hello students, welcome to SS Tutorial. Today I will discuss an important topic of geography. So let's begin. Do you know why moderate temperature is found in coastal area? And why the temperature of Delhi is extreme than Mumbai? If you want to know the answer, then you have to watch this video till the end. If you like this video, then please click on like and subscribe button. And press the bell icon to get notification. If you visit any coastal area in summer, then you obviously feel a gentle and cold wind blowing from sea to land during day, especially in afternoon. And during night, you must feel that wind is just blowing opposite direction. That means wind is blowing from land to sea. This incident happens to any water body site throughout the year. The wind which is blowing from sea to land is called sea bridge. And the wind which is blowing from land to sea is called land bridge. Land and sea bridges are actually periodic winds. Let's know what is actually meant by periodic winds. Periodic winds are nothing but the winds which changes their direction periodically with the change of time and season. Localized differences in pressure and temperature are the main reason of periodic winds. Land and sea bridges, catabatic and anabatic winds and monsoon are some examples of periodic winds. Now in this video we will discuss only land and sea bridges. During day, earth gets heat energy from the sun. Land and water heated differently. Now you must have a question. Why land is heated faster than water? So let's know why this happens. This happens because land is good conductor of heat. Also land surface absorb much more solar radiation. And land has lower specific heat than water. Beside all this, land is an opaque body. So it prevent to spread temperature. Sea is an translucent body which spread temperature. But water has high specific heat and water reflects much more solar radiation. That is why land and air above the land heated rapidly than water. During day, land heated rapidly. So air above the land also heated faster and became lighter. So air rises up and a low pressure zone developed in the land. But as water heated slowly, water body and air above the water body remains comparatively cool than land. So a high pressure zone developed in the water body. And winds start to blow from high pressure zone to low pressure zone. That means winds start to blow from water to land or sea to land. This wind is called sea bridge as it comes from sea. Sea bridge blows faster in the afternoon to evening. Let's know about land bridge. Land bridge is nothing but the reverse or opposite of sea bridge. During night, land and air above the land cools faster as they release heat rapidly. But water releases heat very slowly. Therefore, water and air above the water remains hot. As a result, air above the water rises up and a low pressure zone develops in the water body. And a high pressure zone develops in the land. So winds start to blow from land to sea. This wind is known as land bridge as they come from land. Land bridge blows faster before the sunrise. Let's know why land and sea bridges are so important to us. Land and sea bridges pattern can influence fog distribution. These winds result in elevated humidity. Due to land and sea bridges, coastal area gets high precipitation. Moderate temperature is seen in coastal area due to land and sea bridges. But due to absence of land and sea bridges, extreme temperature is seen in inland which is located in a greater distance from the sea. Influence of land and sea bridges can be seen up to 100 miles in inland. Now you must understand why Mumbai has moderate temperature and Delhi has extreme temperature. Hope you all understand this video clearly. Thanks for watching.